If you think getting a bunch of tech certifications is your golden ticket to a six-figure job, you're about to waste a lot of time and money. I see it every day. People collecting certifications like their Pokemon cards, putting them on their resume, and then they're wondering why they're still stuck at a dead-end job. After 15 years in tech, I can tell you confidently that most certifications are completely useless. They're either outdated, too basic, or simply not valued by companies that pay well. But here's the thing, strategic certifications, ones that are aligned to high demand job roles and a growing industry can absolutely change your life. It could be the one thing that separates you from hundreds of other applicants. So in this video, I'm not gonna give you a generic tier list. I'm gonna give you my defense definitive tier list of the 10 best high paying tech certifications for 2026. And I'll show you how you compare them with the best paying tech jobs. So that way you can get a massive premium for holding the right tech certifications. So let's get started with tier C. This is going to be your foundational starting point. So first certification, we're going to just get it out of the way. If you're new here, you might not have heard of this certification before, but if you're not new here, this first certification is the CompTIA Security Plus. Hand Hands down, I believe the CompTIA Security Plus is the best certification that anybody new to tech should start with. And I know you're probably thinking, but what about the CompTIA Trifecta? What about the CompTIA A Plus, the CompTIA Network Plus? I heard you had to get those before the CompTIA Security Plus. And that's just not true at all. Skip the A Plus, skip the Network Plus, go straight to the Security Plus. And the reason why this is the best certification to start with is because what you have to go through to get this certification certification with no tech knowledge whatsoever will make you become job ready. And the reason why this is the best certification to start with is because if you have no tech experience, it will help you become job ready. If you're able to pass a security plus understanding cybersecurity at a foundational knowledge, you will be able to perform entry level tasks at entry level IT roles. And these entry level IT roles are not cybersecurity roles. I want to make that very clear. These entry level IT roles are actually actually help desk, IT support, IT technician, even data center technician if you pair the Security Plus with the Cisco CCNA certification. So this is the best certification to get. It's one that has helped hundreds of people get started in tech. And if you want to see my full roadmap on how to get started in cybersecurity, I'll put the link in the description below so you can watch it. But we're not going to dive too deep in that in this video. When it comes to these entry level IT roles, depending on the sector that you work in, entry-level IT roles will pay anywhere from $50,000 a year to $75,000 a year. If you decide to go into what I call the GovTech industry with the Security Plus, the Security Plus is going to be your golden ticket because it is mandated by the DOD. It's literally a list of different certifications that you have to get. And the Security Plus allows you to get root access or administrative access to these different government systems. And you do not need to work for the federal government, you can work for government contractor companies. So this is an actual legal requirement to get access to these government systems. And that's why the Security Plus is so valuable, because not only does it work in the GovTech sector, but it also works in the traditional tech sector as well. I've seen many people get the Security Plus and start working for MSPs or other traditional tech companies right out of the gate. Number nine is the Red Hat Certified System Administrator Certification. This certification is definitely one of the best certs you can get, most importantly because it is hands-on. So if you have no tech skills whatsoever, this certification that's offered by Red Hat will prove that you have the skills to be a Red Hat Linux system administrator because all the certification is, is you going through different Linux administrator tasks. So by the end of the certification, you should be confident and confidently go into interviews talking about the different system administrator tasks that you can perform. Now, I do always recommend people to pair the Red Hat Certified Sysadmin Cert with the Security Plus certification as well, just because it makes you more well-rounded. But when you get these certifications, it's going to help you out a ton. I've seen people start with a junior Linux system administrator role, paying six figures for their first role out of the gate once they paired it with the Security Plus. So if you're up for the challenge and you're up for learning Red Hat, which is a type of 
of Linux distribution, I definitely recommend this as a certification combo that you go for. Number eight is Splunk Core and Splunk Power User. These certifications, these are two certs obviously. And with these two certifications, I think these are great for people that are trying to become SOC analysts or cybersecurity analysts because Splunk is one of the most popular SIM tools. So with this certification, it basically proves that you're able to use Splunk, understand what's happening in the Splunk dashboard. And as a power user, this is going to show that you are more advanced in the Splunk realm as well. So this is a great certification because one, it is vendor specific and Splunk is a vendor that is used by thousands and thousands of companies. So literally you can go onto job boards and look up Splunk and you'll see thousands of roles that pop up. So if you have Splunk skills and cybersecurity skills, this will help you get to that SOC analyst or cybersecurity analyst role. And I want to be clear, it doesn't mean that you'll start in cybersecurity, but it will help you get there. Like I said before, go watch the cybersecurity roadmap. I know everybody wants to know the best way to get into cyber. All right, let's step into tier B. This is going to be the specialization tier. This is where you're going to start making real money because you're specializing with these different certifications. Number seven is the AWS Certified DevOps Engineer. This is a professional certification. This is not the entry level AWS Cloud Certified Practitioner Cert. This is a real deal certification. And if you aren't familiar with DevOps, DevOps is a job title where you are automating and testing the deployment of different applications, typically in the cloud, using containers, using some type of cloud infrastructure, and it's continuous development. DevOps engineers get paid extremely well, and they get paid well because these companies, they need to make sure that their applications are up and running 24 seven. So typically when you are a DevOps engineer or a site reliability engineer, or even a cloud automation engineer, you're gonna be responsible for being on call pretty frequently. So they typically work in shifts when it comes to the on call. You might be on call one week or two weeks out of the month, but these roles pay extremely well because you are literally holding these companies together. So the average salary when it comes to DevOps engineers is anywhere between 150,000 to even $250,000 a year. Tech professionals with DevOps skills are extremely rare and it's one of the fastest paths to getting to six figure roles. Number six is the Red Hat Certified Engineer and we're continuing down the automation path. This Red Hat Certified Engineer certification is not held by many people. And this certification is all about Red Hat Ansible. Ansible is the automation platform for Red Hat, which is kind of similar to DevOps and it can lead you down an infrastructure engineer path or even platform engineer path as well. So when you get the Red Hat Certified Engineer certification, this is going to show companies that you can be responsible for maintaining their entire Linux architecture and even their Windows architecture as well. I see a lot in the job market where companies will either want you to be specifically niche down into Red Hat or they'll want you to understand everything from Red Hat to Windows and to VMware. So just be ready for that and be prepared for it. But this certification will get you paid extremely well. With the Red Hat Certified Sysadmin certification, you can easily make up to $300,000 a year as an infrastructure engineer or a platform engineer. Engineer. All right, so if you're still sticking around in this video, you have made it to tier A, the elite tier, the 1% of tech. And if you've enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe because I make videos like this every single week. So let's get into it. Number five is the Offensive Security Certified Professional Certification, which is also known as the OSCP. This is the most respected ethical hacking certification in the world. There's no multiple choice. You have 24 hours hours to hack into a live network of vulnerable machines. So it proves that you can actually do the hacking, not just understand it. And it pays extremely well because it is extremely difficult to get, which creates a lot of scarcity. So most people do not have the OSCP. A lot of people are scared of this certification. So if you want to be a penetration tester, or if you want to work on purple team, or you want to work on red team, OSCP certification is the one to get. And the average salary for these roles can range anywhere from $150,000 to $300,000 plus per year when you're working in these different roles. Number four is the Certified Information Security Auditor Certification, also known as CISA. This CISA certification is very valuable. It's going to allow you to become a cybersecurity
security IT auditor. It can help you get into different roles like security control assessor. It can also help you get into Izzy roles, which is information system security engineers. This certification is great for people who want to be in that GRC realm. So when you get this certification, you can get all these different types of roles in the GRC space. And so once you get the CISA certification, this is going to make you extremely valuable. I've seen people with the CISA certification make upwards of $200,000 to $350,000 a year. So if this is the realm that you want to get into, you want to be taken seriously as a GRC professional, I highly recommend the CISA certification. Number three is the Certified Kubernetes Administrator Certification, also known as the CKA. And you need to pair this with the Certified Kubernetes Application Developer Certification, also known as the CCAD. So these certifications are extremely valuable. Kubernetes is the engine that runs modern applications. The CKA and the CCAD are hands-on exams. So it proves that you must know how to deploy and manage Kubernetes clusters and also develop these clusters as well. So every single major tech company uses Kubernetes. Even in the GovTech sector, every government agency uses Kubernetes. So these skills pay extremely well. So when you get these certifications, you can start looking at DevOps engineer roles, site reliability engineer roles. You can start looking at infrastructure engineer roles and even platform engineer roles as well, which pay extremely well. So the average salary you can expect once you start obtaining Kubernetes certifications is anywhere from $150,000 to $350,000 a year. Now, of course, that's all going to be based on the amount of experience you have. It's going to be based on the roles that you go after, right? An infrastructure engineer is going to get paid more than a DevOps engineer. So look at these different roles and see which one fits you. Number two is the Certified Information System Security Professional, also known as the CISSP. Now this certification is a God tier certification. You get the CISSP certification, you are well respected across all tech industries. So the CISSP, this is not a technical certification and it requires you to have five years of experience. So this is not entry level, but I want you to know the best certifications that you can get. This is a cybersecurity management certification and it proves that you can think like a chief information security officer, which is a CISO. And it's gonna cover risk management, security policy, and governance. So this certification is literally the MBA of cybersecurity. This is what's gonna get you into those cybersecurity leadership roles, which is gonna naturally come with higher salaries. So you're gonna get that built-in authority because it requires you to have five years of experience. So this is not entry level like the Security Plus or the CYSA Plus or even the CAS certification, right? This is going to be the top-notch certification that you can get when it comes to cybersecurity. Now, if you really wanna make the most money with the CISSP, the best thing that you can do is really multiply your value by getting a clearance and working in the GovTech sector with the CISSP certification. When it comes to the CISSP certification in GovTech, this is literally your golden ticket when you have a top secret clearance. A top secret clearance in the CISSP is your ticket to 250K plus salaries for the rest of your life. And it's not very difficult to get into these roles once you get that clearance. So if you wanna learn how to get a government security clearance, I'm having a completely free training that's gonna teach you step-by-step step how you can get a role that's gonna sponsor you for a clearance. And I'm gonna put the link in the description below. All right, let's get into the number one certification. And now this is gonna be different, probably gonna be completely unexpected. So this certification is not just one certification. It's actually the NVIDIA Certified Deep Learning Institute certifications. So these are not just single individual certifications. It's actually a collection of specialized hands-on certs in AI and deep learning from the company that's making the chips that power the AI revolution. So these are extremely practical and they prove that you have skills with the latest AI frameworks and hardware. So this is gonna directly signal to employers that you are on the cutting edge of technology and AI. So when you start looking at these certifications, you combine the other certifications that we've talked about with NVIDIA skills, you will be able to start looking at AI ML engineer roles. You also might need to go to college as well, depending on which way you wanna go. And I will be upfront about this. If you want to get into ML engineering, you might need to go back to college and get a master's degree to step down into this route.
out. But overall, if you're able to show that you have the right skills, show that you've done different hands-on projects on GitHub, and talk about the different things that you're developing in the AI realm, you will be able to command high salaries, even if you're just using these skills and combining them with the skills that you already have. So when it comes to cybersecurity, there's AI things that are happening inside of cybersecurity, like SOC tasks are being automated, even Splunk, has automations. Pretty much every single platform right now is being automated and using AI in some way, shape, or form. So if you combine these AI skills with the skills that you already have in your career, you will be unstoppable. And when you start combining AI and getting AI roles, you should be looking at no less than $200,000 per year in these different AI roles. I've even seen AI technical project managers make up to $750,000 a year. Have you all seen those big salaries that have been given out by Meta and the different AI companies that are paying up to a hundred million dollars. Those are the type of salaries that you can get into. And I'll be completely transparent. Those hundred million dollar salaries, it's not going to be realistic for everyone. But what is realistic for everyone is learning AI skills, combining it with whatever tech role that you're already working in and the tech skills you already have. And it's going to allow you to accelerate your tech career. So after watching this video, I'm sure you can see now you can spend your time collecting random entry level non-specialized certifications and hoping that one of them sticks or you can be strategic you can start getting foundational certs like the security plus the red hat certifications and then use them to get your foot in the door of a government contracting company or at a msp or at a big tech company and then you can let these different companies pay for your security clearance because even big tech companies do work with the government meta amazon google Google, Microsoft, they all do work with the government. So when you combine your technical skills with the certifications and the clearance, once you have that clearance, your entire tech career trajectory changes. You're no longer competing with millions of people in the commercial tech sector. You're gonna be in an exclusive club where demand is guaranteed. And this is the smartest, most certain path to high paying stable career in tech. And this is the path that I've helped hundreds of my students follow. So if you're ready to stop guessing and you're ready to start building a real strategic tech career, I want you to come to my free live training where I'll teach you how to land your first tech contract, even if you have no experience and show you how to get sponsored for a clearance. So to join my free live training, click the first link in the description below and make sure you like, comment, and subscribe so you can stick around and not miss any other videos.